record. That's my record button. Um, be particularly because this is not my uh, my own Zoom room. I'm not the actual host, but hopefully I'm still recording right now. Um, and then I'm going to tell you a couple of things. So I did just link a uh, um, slideshow to the agenda down here where it says Zoom recording workshop. Okay. And um, so let me just make sure that this is the right one. You might know all this stuff already. It's fairly straightforward, but I just thought I'd put it together in a quick slideshow. So this is the other thing. As you might have known, my uh, internet connection has been really weird and wonky. I mean, I've disconnected three or four times already in class. So if anything does happen, you do have this slideshow and hopefully it's fairly straightforward. So let me just back up a moment. The idea that we thought about using a Zoom recording for your video is that you could record in Zoom with a background or even a video background. And you could be like, pretend that you're at loca on location, right? And in the Amazon or whatever with that, with that um, background going. Uh, you could also record in Zoom with just a photo of the, you know, um, a still photo of like the Amazon behind you, or it could be a video, it doesn't matter. And that might make your video, your overall video a little bit more, you know, interesting. So uh, that's why we thought we'd do this. Um, so first of all, you make your own Zoom room so that you have, um, you know, all these capabilities and options. And um, so to change, if you guys don't know, you probably do already, but to change the background of your video, you click on the arrow next to, when you're in your Zoom room, the arrow next to your um, video camera thing right here. Um, once you do that, you just choose virtual background. You should see it there. Once you click on this uh, video arrow, you choose virtual background. And then it should come to something that looks like this. They already have like these one, two, three, four. Or I mean, one, two, three, these three, maybe another one that I might have deleted, are like stock video and still pictures. And then I added these random ones here. And to add your own either video or image, you just click on this plus sign right here. And then you could uh, upload a image or video from your uh, hard drive. That makes so far is good. so far so good. This is the other thing that I had troubles with is a solid color background. So depending on what your background is, it kind of messes up um, the way you look when your video is on. Um, and uh, I think I have the next slide here. This, this thing right here um, allows you to kind of choose in the background, in your you know, actual background, kind of the color that it's gonna, that the computer is going to like replace with the video or the picture. Um, I did not have a lot of success using that, but maybe you can. You could, the best thing is to try it out. If you have a solid background color, that's great. And you can uh, try to use this to pick the color um, if you're still having problems. Um, so this is based on my own personal troubleshooting. So your background should be a solid, solid color. So I typically sit um, on a chair with my back is against the wall, right? So my background is solid, but I had a lamp next to me. And when that light was on, because otherwise it's kind of dark in my room, um, my background was really weird. So if I turned it off, the lamp off, then I guess the wall behind me is more of a solid singular color. Um, so that really helped a lot for my background and video. Uh, okay, so if you don't have that virtual background option next to the start video icon in your zoom room then you have to actually give yourself the option of having the virtual background so you go to your zoom account in the browser tab like you know when you're first setting it up and then uh, for what i did is i just hit uh go to settings and then hit Control f i forgot to put this 
settings in there. And then it takes you to control F and then type virtual. It takes you right to there because there's so many settings that it, it takes about 30 seconds to scroll all the way down and find it. But um, then you find the place that says virtual background and make sure it's turned on. Um, you may have to log out and log in to your Zoom account and or Zoom room um, to make sure that it's there once you do that. So here, here's my um, Zoom account. And I went down to settings and then all these things here are, you have to scroll all the way down to you find where it says virtual background and then you just make sure that this is to the right which is on if it's to the left it's off so that's if you don't already have the option under um, your start video thing icon all right um, also if you wanted to add a photo which I think most of you guys do a great job of this already so I probably don't even have to say it, but to add a photo, like, you know how mine is just this big old D. If I want to change that to my picture or a picture of my favorite food or something, um, you, again, you go into the account like I had before. And then instead of going to settings, you go to profile. And then just click here where it says change, just hit change. And it'll allow you to upload any like picture from um, or video from your hard drive. Um, so it, it, it turns into this, and then I just hit, press upload, find my file, and then click on save. And that will change whatever image you have here. So if you're not using your video, it'll show that instead. And I thought that that might be an option if you wanted to record over a uh, solid um, image in Zoom. But frankly, if you're going to do that, you might as well do it in uh, Adobe Spark because it'll, it'd just be a lot easier and more straightforward, I think. All right, so if I want to record in Zoom, if I am the Zoom host, in my upper left-hand corner, there's going to, going to be a record button right up here, which for this one, I'm the Zoom host, right? This is my screen. So in the upper left-hand corner here is a record button. I could just hit record or not record or pause or stop, right? So I could just hit that. It's a little bit difficult because I don't know how all of your Zoom rooms are set up. So hopefully that's the case. Um, if, if you don't have anything here or anything in the bottom that I'm going to show you in a second, you might have to go into settings and I might have to help you individually with that if you're interested. Um, or you may have a record button on the bottom icon bar. So this is what I see when um, when I'm in Miss Phillips' Zoom room and it's I'm not hosting it. I only see this one. I don't see this one up here until I press record. So um, when you're ready to record, just go ahead and press that button to record. Um, so just some other additional information. Your video will render or convert when you end or leave your Zoom session, right? So until then, it's not going to, um, not going to save, basically. For Adobe Spark, I found this out by trial and error, you cannot upload a video longer than about 30 seconds or it will give you an error message. So my original thought was, you know, I'll just record some stuff in Zoom and there's always extra time in the beginning and at the end you know where people aren't talking or whatever and then up and then upload it to adobe spark well my uh, videos that i recorded in zoom weren't very long anywhere from two to four minutes but even with that adobe spark would not accept it it kept saying um uh that the uh video was not compatible right so i finally made a super short video in zoom 30 seconds or so and then it was able to upload because i was confused it's an mp4 format which is all the other videos but it has to be really short so when you're doing that just be aware you have to make a bunch of very short videos approximately 30 seconds now i didn't check will 35 seconds work you know will one minute work i don't know but i can tell you for sure that two minutes will not work at least not on mine uh, you could also use a photo or video background and pretend you're on location. That's the thing that I started out with. All right. So with that, I think that's 
everything that I wanted to cover. And I don't think I cut out. So that's pretty awesome. Um, do any of you guys have any questions? <laughs> 